Hello everyone, my name is Lydia Gutierrez and I'll be hosting the first edition of Explore Mainer ISD on MISD TV. It's Black History Month and Mainer ISD has plenty of events happening around the district. Performances, showcases, and read-alouds are just a few ways we'll be celebrating. At Mainer Senior High School, several scholar athletes took the exciting step of signing to play college football. Rayshad Fisher will be headed to Southern Eastern Oklahoma State University. Samuel Shaw signed to play at Southwestern College. Sean Harris will be playing for Blinn College. Zachary Bruce headed to Ottawa University. West Texas A&M will be gaining DJ Shaw, and he will be joined by David Jeffrey, who also signed to play at West Texas A&M. Congratulations on your amazing accomplishments. We are so proud and can't wait to follow the rest of your journeys. Also in Main University Athletics, it's finally softball and baseball season. And to kick off the 2023 season, New Tech High School gets to show off their talents in their brand new fields. We celebrate the ribbon cutting of the softball and baseball fields. And we'll get to see the scholar athletes back in action on February 14th and February 20th. February is also Career and Technical Education Month, so scholars from our CTE programs will be showcasing their skills all month long. From lunches brought to you by our culinary program, manicures from cosmetology scholars, to heart checks from our health sciences program, our scholars are getting closer and closer to being certified and working in some of the most in-demand fields. Here's Alyssa Solis reporting from one of the CTE showcases. Hello everyone, my name is Alyssa Solis and we are here at the Taste of Mainer Luncheon. All this food was prepared by our Mainer ISD scholars and all this is in celebration of CTE Month. <laughs> Here is a great experience. Everyone learns, and also you can get your management certificate. So it's good, like the, for future chefs and Chef Lee. He puts you on with colleges, and it's a real great thing for if you want to be a chef in the real world, or just if you want to just learn how to cook. All right, guys. So I'm interested in learning about you know automotive and cars and stuff like that. So tell me a little bit about this process and just how this works. So what we're checking right now is major components that your car is pretty much needing to be able to drive. It could be as simple as your engine level, um, engine oil level, fluid, yeah, in that case. So right here, there's two dots over here. So you always want it in between there or at the high level. And what was mine at? Yours, we can check real quick. And shouldn't it be a certain color too? Yes, it could be. So yours, it's pretty much almost there. It's high. good, right? So it's, it's a good, one. good level. And then see how it's pretty much clean, a yellowish, not uh -huh. brown or dark burnt. Okay. You could also smell it. This one smells pretty new. I'm pretty sure you got in your oil change uh, recently. I did. <laughs> I did. Another thing, cool it. Um, you don't want mm. your car to overheat, especially driving on the highway, high speeds. You get, you're getting enough air to the engine, but still you want coolant to cool down the engine. Mm. Yours. We did write it down, it had low coolant. There's some markings on the container, but yours, I would recommend you getting that checked out. You could stop at, at the Maynard High School shop. Um, we could add some, I'm pretty sure we would have some for your car. And then these will also have like min and max lines. Yours seems to be all right. Um, so it's telling us that your brakes do have enough time, like life in them. Well, thank you so much, Jonathan, for doing such an amazing job of just explaining. Like, you're already just showing how much knowledge you have to be able to explain to a novice like myself about, you know, cars and stuff like that. So just thank you so much for, one, working on the car and just explaining to us just kind of, you know, the different, you know, functions of the car and, you know, what to look out for and all that. Yeah, of course. It's almost time for the Parent University Conference. You will not want to miss out on this amazing opportunity to support your scholar's journey. Parents, come in and enjoy free breakfast, get valuable information, and gain priceless resources from our specialized classes taught by experts. We will also be providing free childcare so that you can put your best foot forward at the conference. Register today. Have you heard about our Mentor Mainer Challenge? Help Mainer ISD reach our goal of 200 mentors by May 1st. Apply now to make a difference in a scholar's life. Don't forget, we have two district holidays coming up. Mainer ISD will be closed Friday, February 17th, and President's Day, Monday, February 20th. Thank you so much for tuning in to Explore Mainer ISD here on MISD TV. I'm Lydia Gutierrez, and we'll see you next time.